Hey, what's going on? We are watching another fight from 1FC. We got Hyo. Hyo? Hyo? Fuck. Alright, not a great start. Uh, we're watching Hyo uh, from Japan versus Yusuf Sad. Sad? Yusuf Sad? <laughs> God damn it. I'm so bad at these names. Whatever. We're here. Uh, we're going to find out the real names in a second because I have not watched this fight yet. This is the first time I'm watching it. This is probably the first time you're watching it because that was streamed today. We got one Friday fights number 81. Uh, Hugh versus Yusuf Sad, a 21-year-old versus a 22-year-old, a 5'8 versus 5'9, both about 130 three odd pounds and then uh yeah we got japan versus algeria let's get into it what an opener but you know what? we're gonna roll with it because i'm feeling good i'm having algeria. fun today. global rules kick turn that down a bit i also like that it's kickboxing it's not muay thai it's kickboxing no elbows no clinch no controlling to land a strike that's the key for a uh, difference between kickboxing and Muay Thai, if you ask me, minus the elbows, it's the fact that you can't hold on to somebody and strike them. Let's see what happens. The Algerian making his walk. Got a nice little eyebrow slit there. I'm guessing it was an intentional slit. I don't think that's a real scar. I think it's an implied scar. Wearing Muay Thai shorts. Interesting take. I prefer the kickboxing short, a little bit tighter, a little bit slimmer, a sexier short, if you will. I'm gonna keep on skipping that. Jesus. War zone outside right now. You guys don't know I'm from Toronto, and I'm right in the heart of the city. Japanese kickboxers. Probably my favorite style generally to watch is a Japanese kickboxer. I love the way that they use their boxing, usually great hands. Right, they throw hands like they are boxers and not kickboxers, if that makes any sense. Usually pretty sweet combinations. He's got a hell of a jawline. I can relate. <laughs> skip ahead a bit. He looks good. He's a handsome looking guy, 21 years old. Handsome young man, ready to kickbox. Like the short. Skip ahead a bit. I want to see the records. What's going to be happening with that? And now, ladies and gentlemen, we begin with three three-minute rounds of flyweight kickboxing. Introducing first, out of the blue corner. He looks shorter in the ring. I think he's 5'7", not 5'8". Muay Thai Academy, 10 and 2. Algeria! Okay. Algerians have a great kickboxing... Muay Thai culture, right? Them, Morocco, sort of North African region. They got lots of good fighters coming out of there. Medi Zatuk. That's in, uh. Medi That's in. It's like Turkey. It's a Middle East. It's obviously Middle Eastern. I can't remember who else was fighting out of there. If anybody knows uh, who's fighting out of Medi Zatuk, leave it in the comments. Because I know I've heard that gym before. I just can't recall which fighters are from there. Okay, referee's tie. We got two Australians and a French judge. Okay. Let's see how it goes down. Southpaw versus Orthodox. Open stance matchup. A lot of fast lead legs coming from the Algerian, right? Just touching, probing, probably looking to set something up. Yeah, beautiful cross to the body. If there's ever an open stance matchup, the body is usually a little bit more exposed. Okay, groin kick, open it up. Yeah. When you're in that open stance, the body is a lot more exposed to be eaten strikes, but also the groin is just poof. He almost dealt one right back, too. He's like, if I need to kick me in the nuts, buddy, I'm going to hand you one, too. 
But you know the uh, just based off what we've seen so far, the Japanese fighter here is looking like he's trying to close the distance. He's looking like I don't know. He wants to get into that boxing range and uh, basically keep his opponent up against the ropes. Uh, Yusuf, lots of footwork. He's going to be touching a lot with those kicks from the outside. Probably starting low and then working his way up to the head. Hoping that um, he will start to drop his hands maybe. Exposing a high kick. This is what we're kind of seeing in the first 10 seconds of the fight. But just like I was saying, those Japanese fighters and their boxing is tight. Nice high kick. No setup on it though. Again, kicking to the inside of the legs. you are seeing those really nice straights. I just heard that uh, Hugh is a karate world champion. I don't know what genre of karate, but he's got really nice straights, and that's usually what happens with the uh, karate style. But yeah, just wants to stay inside that boxing range. Beautiful high kick. What's nice about the karate style is it doesn't have a lot of telegraphing when it comes to their kicking strikes. It's a little bit less focused on like the rotation of the body and the hips and a lot on like the snap of the leg. So they'll barely even lean or turn their bodies into those kicks a lot of the times and sort of just snap them up into the sky. Into the sky. I love the pressure he's putting on too. Nice straight dealt from Sad. He's doing some really nice counters on the back foot here. And Hugh's kind of just running right into them. He's not using a lot of intelligent setups to get into the range that he wants to be fighting in. He's got to be fainting more, hopefully getting some reactions out of Sad and then Sad, and then uh, countering those strikes that he throws out. Oh! Right on the jaw. Didn't even flinch though when he took it. Holy shit, what a jaw he's got. Again, Hugh just keeps running into Saad straights. Front kick to the chin. Is that what we just seen? Okay, and getting tied up in the clinch. It's kickboxing, have to do a clean break. Then get right back into the uh, action. Nice little low kick. Boom. It's a beautiful counter in the open stance matchup to catch that uh, kick on your rear side and immediately fire straight at your opponent's body. Right, a lot of the time, especially when they're starting to bring those roundhouse kicks higher and higher, their body tends to open up more and more. So, it wasn't Takaru. Um, I know he's fighting on this card too. We're going to watch his fight as well. Tension. Tension and Rod Tang. If you watch that fight, Tension does that counter to Rod Tang so many times. You know I'm going to tag that video because we did a little review on them too. But Tension hits that counter so many times where he blocks against his rear side and immediately fires a straight into Rod Tang's body. We've seen it there too. again. Some, some really nice striking out of both guys. Nice. Okay, it's Kyokushin Karate. Not, I can't believe he landed that kick flush. He didn't seem to follow through on it, and it looked like Saad saw it coming. So, you know, the, usually the strike that hurts the most is the one you don't see coming. And just like having the wherewithal to turn your head and sort of move with the technique just a little bit probably took a bit of that sting off. But it's still getting kicked in the head. I'm not saying it's nice to get booted in the noggin. All right, we're back on. Again, very quick kicks out of Saad. He fires them off with very little hesitation or load. Where he can really explode those things off the ground, no problem. Oh! 
The Hugh has some pretty nice setups to get on the inside, right? At least he's quick enough and explosive enough to cover that distance with almost no hesitation. All right, when he's getting in offensively, he's doing quite well. But if he's doing it um, in a defensive way, like he's trying to slip or just block to get his way inside and cover the distance. Oh, gave him it back. Uh, using something, some defensive movements to cover the distance, then we're kind of seeing him get hit a lot more. Like he's not doing well when he's just trying to block and move his way on the inside. He's just walking into tons of straights and it's just not working out for him. Yep. Ooh. Yeah, the toe kick. I didn't even realize he was throwing it. I don't think that had anything to do with the groin. I think he was just looking for a minute to chill. That toe kick to the body, especially to the liver of your opponent, is easily one of the most devastating strikes you can take. And I think we see Saad starting to hold that elbow a little bit tighter against the side. Oh, you're kidding me! I've never seen this many groin fights. Or groin, groin kicks in a fight. Groin fights. It's just the open stance matchup. Every time you take a step forward. Oh, look at him. See, they both kind of close the distance. And him actually stepping back, looking to defend that kick, sort of put him into that position. Like, it would have hit his leg, but he stepped back and kind of turned and just opened it up perfectly to get him kicked. Nice. Good defense by both men. Wow, this is a really nice defensive exchange. All right, footwork, cross blocking. Again, another, yep. Look at that beautiful combination. All right, cross to the body, right hook upstairs to the head. He's finding a home for both of those. Again, off of uh, Hugh attacking. Oh, what thinking here? Again, popping off the jab. Right. Sod's having a little bit more trouble. And I like that uh, Hugh's being a little bit more patient to close the distance and finding ways to exit afterwards. He's striking and then moving starting from a little bit more space because he's doing really well from that long range but if he just kind of rushes inside he's getting hit a lot but Saad is just uh, having a lot of trouble figuring out what's next nice spinning back kick right to the body no it couldn't be no I don't think that was I don't think that was one. We gotta watch this back. Someone's gotta play that back because I don't think he got hit in the groin there. It's hard to see, but it'd be pretty surprising if that landed. Nice little inside low kick. Again, he needs to start thinking intelligently on closing that distance. All right, when he was on the outside there and he landed his best combinations, there's a little bit of fainting, a little bit of waiting, sort of gauging the reactions of Saad, and then closing the distance. Like he hit a perfect uh, straight to the body, right hook to the head, straight to the head. It was a beautiful combination. Right there, see, we see a little bit of fainting. Nice little right hook, but it, it's more of a slap where he didn't have a lot of good structure behind that strike. It's always going to take a little bit of the sting off if you're very loose 
in the arm, or you want to be able to hit your target and follow through it if you're going for power strikes. But if you're just slapping, it sort of hits, and then it's breaking on impact, and you lose so much of the significance of that strike. I think going into this third round, I'm leaning towards Hugh just off of pressure. I think they were pretty equal in the exchanges in the first round. I don't think either one really, you know, cemented the win for that entire round. But going into the second, Hugh obviously got the better of the exchanges. And now he's starting to pick it up. A little complaint from Hugh because Saad was trying to catch. Again, it's just coming from that Muay Thai background. You can really sense the Muay Thai. You can taste the Muay Thai on him. But that kickboxing style is really paying off for Hugh right now. Ooh, woo! Rolling thunder. A little bit of flair. Nice footwork. I love the guard and the stance of Hugh. Alright, good feint again. But he's he's creating a lot more openings by using his feints. Like, this is what I was saying in the first round. He just kept running into shots. If he just used a bit of feinting and started getting more reactions out of Saad, he wouldn't feel as confident throwing back every time Hugh was trying to close the distance. But just adding in a bit of that twitch, a little bit of, you know, what's going to happen next, it's going to make him hold back and hesitate on his strikes and make it a lot easier for Hugh to follow up on whatever he's planning on hitting. Another beautiful cross block into that uh, left straight. He's getting into a lot of good combination work now. I appreciate that. Okay, slow kick. A little bit loose, relaxed. Nice. Oh! The fifth. Fifth groin kick? What do you do? You take a point now? Oh, just the way he... Wait, who screamed? Did he scream because he was angry he landed it? Or... Yeah, it hit. Yeah. It wasn't a clean connection, but it was enough to probably, you know, jostle them. You know, kind of bounce those things around a bit. Worth the reaction. Another beautiful straight to the body. Man, that is the story of this entire fight. It's just Hugh landing that left straight to the body over and over again. Countering with it, leading with it. All right, finding all these different ways to land that straight. Oh, it looks like Saad's hurt. Hugh's sensing it. Again, Saad clinching up to try to save himself. Oh! Push kick to the face. Nice. Some more good combinations. Ten seconds left. I right, put a stamp on it, Hugh. This fight's yours. Again, going for the face again. Getting clinched up. Saad is pretty much conceded he's going to lose at this point. He was just trying to save himself to the end of the fight. Great fight. You know, really fun to fight despite the uh, kicks to the balls we were seeing there. Fun to watch, though. Fun fight to watch. Nice. Nice. Nice left straight. Again, he was leading with that hand a lot. You know, which in the first rounds he was getting countered off of quite a bit because he wasn't really doing much setup to land that strike. He was sort of just moving straight in on it, if you ask me. This is kind of what I'm remembering. A little push kick to the neck. Right on the neck. aggressive. Well, if you ask me, that was kickboxing. It's pretty good. And I think, uh... Oh, sod. Not a chance, buddy. I think we could put that one down, dude. 
in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. If it wasn't him, you know, what what would we do with that? What could we possibly do with that? That'd be terrible. It'd be embarrassing. Had to be Hugh. Let's catch a little bit more of the highlights and then we'll call it a day. I really want to see that one combination. Uh, we're not going to watch that right now. But let's skip back. We're going to go playback speed. 0.25. Boom. Somewhere in the third round here. So she early on in the third round. We've seen some really good combinations. Or sorry, it was the end of the second round. We've seen some really good combinations. We threw that left straight to the body. And some cool stuff that we were seeing there. No, not quite. Let's just chop it back just a little bit. Such a long video. This is definitely when he was doing some of his best work in the second round. All right, some of the nicest combinations he was throwing are kind of getting to the end of this round here. But just, you know, Saad being on the back foot the entire time is, uh, you know, he really can't win a fight most of the time that way. So if you're pressuring forward at least, you know, you're showing the judges that, you know, you're here to win, you're here to fight here to get the finish but on the back foot it's hard to you know communicate that you know some clean combinations just want to see that left straight to the body see it was nice like he put him on a bit of a defensive stance a little feint going into that hook cross and roundhouse kick just as uh, sod starts moving to uh, Hughes rear side you know, spinning back kick. That was not the groin. See, this is another thing that we saw. Oh, maybe it was. Yeah, that is like, it's like picking him up by his taint. Ooh. Catching a heel right in the taint. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it even looks like maybe Hugh steps back and he's like, uh, yeah, I think I just did that. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, you know, not right on the money, but pretty close to it, more or less. Sod wasn't doing that much in terms of intelligent striking and setup and game plan going into this uh, second and third round. He looked confident on the back foot when he was, you know, landing just as Hugh was moving in. See, that's kind of another one of those moments. But Hugh really started to find his timing as the round went on. Like we kept saying, is just his fainting, his his distance management. He was outside of uh, Sod's range until he was ready to close that distance. Like this was a little, you know, sort of sloppy way to get inside, but that's just uh, Sod trying to keep himself from backing up so much. But I never understand why guys go for those like naked high kicks where he's just snapping up into the air with literally zero setup. And there's a kick to the groin. Yep. Cool. They just couldn't stop that from happening. The entire fight. Non-stop kicks to the groin. There it comes. Bop, 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 bop. Bink. Skip ahead. Okay. They should have showed the spinning back kick one. Because that was seemed like uh, Saad was looking for a moment to chill and it might have hurt him but in slow motion you realize hey it was actually to the taint and if you don't know what the taint is it's the spot between your balls and your butthole welcome to ride out MMA yeah almost a little question mark kick there sort of a flick of the leg before snapping it up a little bit higher yeah it's just i don't know what sod expected from continually throwing that high kick up like i know one setup is you know you go high you go high you go high and then you go middle kick and sometimes that opens up the body but we just never saw that out of him he was going basically everywhere but the body 
a lot of the time. He's kicking at Hughes' head or he's kicking at his balls, right? That is uh, low, low kicks. I don't know if we're going to be able to find that combination, but we definitely saw some uh, good kickboxing out of Hugh here, and it's somebody we're definitely going to follow up on if I see him on another one card. 100% going to be worth it. All right, we catch him on the back foot here, putting a little bit of pressure on. I like the circling off, keeping uh, Sod in the corner. See, faint, faint. All right, just kind of tapping that hand up, getting reactions out of Sod, so it's easier to hit after he's already opened himself up. Right, if he draws those strikes out of him, it's always going to be a little bit easier to land the follow-up shots right here. I love this combination. All right. Straight. Hook. Straight. Didn't land super clean, but his corner was uh, going wild about it. The guy's from Medizatut. Doing really nice stuff in that last uh, bit of this second round here. Nice hook. Following up. Maybe a bit more. Coaches are loving what they're seeing. Right, even puts him into his own corner. So he's got the coaching right behind him. Good fight. Fun to watch overall. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see.